Hello, this is Randy with h &R Enterprise in Washington Courthouse. We want to try to quickly show you here in a few minutes uh, the differences between the brake levers of some of the import um, yeah, ODES, John Ways, uh, 110, 125 cc ATVs. What we're doing here today is really just to demonstrate that the levers show there is a couple styles. Um, they both could actually work probably with each other. Um, one style connected to maybe the old style connected to the new will work, but the new style connected to the old may not work because the only difference is is your parking brake uh, construction is just a little different. The parking brake set is in the housing on what we're going to call the new style, and the parking brake uh, housing on the old style is incorporated with the lever. So that's the two differences even though they both um, connect and would work um, in each other's housings. And the reason we're talking about the housing is because the housing, if you haven't broken your throttle control or something else there, um, it's a lot easier just to swap out the levers, even if you buy the whole assembly here, versus having to try to get this grip removed, taking all the cables loose and everything here for your throttle if that's not needed and not necessary. So a couple things to point out that we just want to show you real quickly uh, to be in, in mind of. Really just, just to swap the levers out, all you have to do is remove this bolt. These cables will come out, but you probably ought to go ahead and we've already, uh, well, you want to remove then your throttle limiter screw because it is in the road of the hinge bolt. Uh, I'm trying to get a focus on it there. That's underneath of it, and you can't get a socket on it with this screw in the road. So just remove this. Just simply back it out. There's a jam nut on it. You can just back it clear out and then replace it, and may have to reset it to the appropriate throttle position that you want. All that does is limit the throttle, uh, how far it'll travel. So it's a good feature on the youth models. Um, the other thing that we want to point out is on the bottom side, this is the hinge bolt. We've already removed this throttle limiter screw so that we could get access to it. This bolt's a little different too in the uh, old versus the new. Either one will work. The difference is this, the older style has a big shoulder on it and the new style is just a standard bolt with a sleeve down inside of it to accommodate for the thickened shoulder of the old style so this is a more specialized bolt uh, than the new style but you would want to make sure uh, you could use either one the other things that you want to keep in mind is on the old style it has this this is what actually allows your brake to lock you can see you can push that pin and that locks it in parking brake uh, mode um, and so when you take you need to first take this nut off because this bolt is threaded at the base of this bracket. Uh, so you want to make sure you don't damage anything here. Remove this lock nut first. If you got the old style, then this uh, latch here, which is part of the parking brake, is will come can be removed. It just simply slides over this bolt um, here, and you can see it kind of forms around this to keep it from spinning. But that's a, that piece will come off as soon as this nut is released. And it is not a part that is, uh, you'll find on the new style because again, this parking brake feature is built into the housing and does not need uh, this additional piece. So uh, the old style, this will work. You just need to make sure you retain this uh, latch and you're gonna have two pins. You're gonna see this pin if you have the new style and replace it with the old lever you're going to have this pin and you're also going to have this pin. This will be the only one that will activate. I don't believe there's a hole in the lever itself that would allow the new style to work with it. But uh, you can take a look at that a little closer when you uh, replace them. That will allow you then to just replace the lever. Uh, then you want to make sure again, like I say, we've backed this out a little bit. It is threaded through this bottom part. So you want to make sure then you replace uh, your cables, hook your cables back up, um, then you can slide it into the hinge and then you can put this bolt in. If you got the new style you just simply put the spacer 
in there and then the smaller bolt um, and then you can still use this piece here if you've got the old style and put the nut on. So hopefully that's helped you a little bit. Main things is remember this is a threaded bolt into this assembly here. Take the nut off first. Have a good day.